This really is a superstar multi-tool from Leatherman. Let's jump into what makes it so special at only 6.7 ounces. What we have right here is a Leatherman superstar and it is that way because it's got this secret power. It is a knifeless tool. Now, I'll give you two seconds. Which tool do you think this is? One, two? Maybe you guessed it, maybe you didn't. This is the Leatherman Rebar. I have to be honest, I didn't even know that this was still in production. I looked on Leatherman's website. Sure enough, for $79, the Leatherman Rebar is still made. You can still get this, it weighs 6.7 ounces, 189 grams, it's four inches long. Open length is 6.25 inches, if that's something you're interested about. 1.18 uh, 1 uh, inches width, then the thickness is 0 0.65. This is a pretty cool tool because you can really pair it with some of the other knives that you may have in your collection. I really like that option. Now, the outside really reminds me of some of Leatherman's heritage tools. We've got the ruler markings. We have the stainless steel handles. We have these locking mechanisms as well. It's more of your general planer tool, but it definitely has a nice look to it. Pretty cool tool right here. Fun fact, did you know that almost 80% of the people that watch this YouTube video are not subscribed? Hey, could you help with that problem? Subscribe? like, leave a comment. If you do ever want to take apart your knifeless Leatherman rebar, you can get the parsing wrenches from multitoolpartsstore.com. You can always do that. Then they work pretty good. They come, I believe, in a set of two. Then you have them, I think it's different sizes for the top and the bottom. And the parsing wrench they give you actually works. works. You just use the other side once you get to that. It, they give you a set of two, then you can take this apart and mod it if you ever need to. The Leatherman Rebar has a great plier head design as well. We've got crimpers at the bottom. We've got these replaceable wire cutters that work for soft and hard wire. We do have the needle nose pliers. Then they always use this for nuts and bolts. Rarely do I use it, but I had to use one of my multi-tools the other day and it actually came in handy for that. Keep that, that's something to think about. Then this plier head is almost like squared off a little bit on the sides so that you potentially could use that for maybe reaming out PVC copper. I don't think they add that as a function, but that is something you possibly could do. Now, this is a really nice light design plier head. It's not as huge a mammoth as some. It's what made it able for me to use my Frankenstein Gerber contraption that I made. I've got a whole video about that as well but I really like the Leatherman rebar plier head. On the one side of the Leatherman rebar, we've got the lanyard loop. We have the Phillips screwdriver. This does accept the Leatherman adapter, so you can use a quarter inch bits. Then on this tool, we've got the wire stripper, can opener, bottle cap lifter. On this side, we have the coarse file, on this side, we have the fine file. Then on the bottom, there are some teeth as well. So this is the first side of the Leatherman rebar. On the other side of the Leatherman rebar, we've got the saw. We have the smaller straight screwdriver. We've got the larger flat screwdriver. We have the awl, then we have a pair of scissors. So instead of the knife, you do get a pair of scissors, which is cool for some people. That is something that is added to your tool set. Pretty cool tool set right here. Let's go ahead, try out the scissors. Now, when we get to the scissors on the Leatherman rebar, this is where things start to take a downhill turn. I cannot cut through bicycle inner tube double layered very well at all with the Leatherman rebar scissors. If I cut it inside, yeah, I can cut through one layer. I can go through that. That's fine. That's not an issue. I cannot cut through paracord. I've already tried that in the past. I can cut through cardboard right here. That's not a problem. Just to show, I will bring a little uh, string I have of paracord in here, right? Yeah, it's, it's not happening. Unless I really chaw through this, 
It's just basically not happening. The Leatherman rebar scissors, all, I think it's really cool that they're added, but Leatherman really needs to get on the ball with designing some better scissors, quite bluntly. The competition overseas is doing a much better job in the scissor department than Leatherman. That's one area where they're really, really lacking. I know a lot of people carry knives, so that is one of the reasons why I thought this knifeless rebar was such a great idea because it doesn't have the fixed blade knife or the serrated blade. I also wonder, let me know, uh, just recently I was looking at my YouTube analytics and I think it's the number four country that most people watch from is Germany. Uh, number two I think is England. Now, I understand those are two very different countries, very different knife laws. I would be very interested if some of you could represent your country from England, from Germany. We've got a lot of people that actually watch from Poland, from Australia. If you could chime in, is the knifeless rebar a great option for you? Is that something that would actually make it easier for you to carry it? Then when you're at home, you can carry some of these extra backup knives. In the US, a lot of people prefer to carry a full knife as a backup. Now this is just a utility blade, but something like this, I think the knifeless rebar makes a lot of sense. It really does. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I always enjoy reading them.